y'all. This is Marley Kay. Hope y'all are well. Got a, a, a tip. I don't know if you want to call it a tip, but a, I'm just going to say a telegraph <laughs> from Reuters that came out on June the 12th that says Americans should prepare for cyber sabotage from Chinese hackers. U.S. officials warn. So I'm just spreading the tea because a lot of things getting ready to start happening as this um, these uh, NATO exercises take place. And, um, you know, you can just see all these different stories uh, coming about in the news to distract. So clearly they got to, you know, amp up the chaos and this is a part of it so i'm sharing this so that you can be prepared get your things in your house do what you got to do be prepared to cook or prepare food uh, you know protect your things that you have in the refrigerator and freezer and getting candles and having lights you know if you've been playing around and you know thinking that you have a lot of time i'm i'm I'm, I'm trying to implore upon you. You do not have that much time left to prepare. They're getting ready to start doing stuff. And as soon as they start doing stuff, stuff is going to be going off the shelves. The prices of things are going to go up. We already got a supply chain shortage um, and it's broken intentionally. So, you know, there are just going to be a lot of things systemically that happen that you can't control. And so, you know, while things are good and people are kind of walking around asleep, use it to your benefit to get your get your uh, things in order, get your house in order, get your loose ends tied up. Um, have discussions with your plant, your family, and your partners who you're gonna, um, you know, hit the fan it with when things go down. It's that time. Have cash um, so that in the event that something happens. And our, you can't go to the ATM or debit cards don't work in stores and there's no power. You have cash to do whatever it is that you need to do. Because in Europe, they're already talking about in 48 hours, they're going to do something you know, to the central banking system. I think with SWIFT in particular, so that if that you know happens, people won't be able, there won't be any transactions to be made. People who have physical cash will be able to make transactions if businesses choose to do so. But if you don't have anything in your house, you can't, you know, you're not going to the store and get nothing because the store is not going to open up. Um, they can't sell. They won't be able to do transactions because everything uses um, technology. Everything has been digitalized. Um, so be prepared. That's the best thing I can tell you. Um, do the best you can to, you know, walk it out, whatever happens, but start preparing for stuff to start happening. So let's get into this story. It says the uh, Chinese hackers are all but certain to disrupt American critical infrastructure. And I'm saying this, I'm reading this, but understand that ain't no good guys and the news could be saying one person is doing it and it could be, you know, our own folks doing stuff. You know, you live in the belly of the beast, so we don't know who is doing what. Just understand I'm reporting what I'm telling you, but I'm always thinking like a conspiracy theorist to the end. Ain't no good guys. I don't know who's doing what. I don't even care who's doing it. All I care about is that we know how to protect ourselves and insulate ourselves from the wickedness. And so some of that is going to be spiritual. Some of it we'll do through pay, prayer. But some of it is you got to go to Food Line and Piggly Wiggly and get you some flour and sugar and some candles. OK, that's that's all I care about. So don't ever listen to me think oh she's saying the chinese oh she's saying russian oh she's saying america that is a political really ignorant way of thinking about anything right now i don't care about who's doing what i'm just telling you what the people say and then i'm always going to tell you what you need to do in order to counter whatever it is that they're trying to do because at the end of the day all we should care about is how these things will impact us. It doesn't matter what they say or who they say is doing it. 
all we need to know is it's going to get done. This is how it's going to impact us. This is what we knew need to do in order to not be impacted by it. Other than that, I don't really care about none of that other stuff. So if you still there talking about, you know, propaganda and this, that and another, these people literally, the devil has to tell you what they what he's going to do before he does it. So forget the source. Understand that the devil is telling you, I'm getting ready to do this to you. Now you cannot pay attention to it if you want, but you're gonna be the one that's harmed because I already told you what I'm gonna do. That's how I how I look at everything. So if you are incapable of doing that, you are really going to be screwed somewhere down the line. You should have already shed that um, good guy, bad guy, political um, nonsensory that you've been trained uh, to believe in or trained to participate in. As long as you think that way, the dominant society wins because that is how they've trained us. As long as you think that way, Satan wins because he he got you thinking, you know, there is some good here on this earth and there is some evil on this earth. There's some some good spirits and, and some good things happening. But understand this world has fallen and we live in darkness. So we got to be trying to be light to one another as we navigate this darkness. And that's all I'm trying to do. So I just want to you know preface that. Don't get it twisted. I understand what time it is, but I'm reading you what the people say, them folks say. And so all we all we can do is try to navigate what's coming. And that's what I want to talk about. So it says Chinese hackers are all but certain to disrupt American critical infrastructure, such as pipelines, railways in the event of a conflict with the United States. A U.S. um, a senior U.S. cybersecurity official said Monday. In comments made during an appearance at the Aspen Institute in Washington, oh Lord, as soon as they say that, yes. Okay, anywho, you'll have to understand the background between the Aspen Institute, but um, it's some shenanigans afoot, I'd say that. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency Director Jen Easterly said Beijing was making major investments in the capability to sabotage sabotage U.S. infrastructure. So, uh, you know, just understand that's why I've been talking about the power grid. That's why I've been talking about the Internet. That's why I've been talking about growing your own food, buying seeds, trying to be self-sufficient as possible. Because this whole system is going to go down. It's going to go. It may happen gradually. It may, you know, happen an event here, an event there. But all these little pieces of chaos and all this fear that's going to be incited and all these other things that are coming um, to uh, life will impact every single one of us because we are basically hostages. And we don't have the resources. We don't have the power to navigate any of this. So we have to learn how to live through it and and live with it. So part of that is strengthening your spirituality, uh, you know, becoming more knowledgeable in the word because there are promises that have been made to us. We need to ask the most high to uh, remember the covenant with uh, Jacob, the tribes of Jacob, we want the covenant back. So in order to, to become, in order to come back into covenant, we have to repent. We have to be, um, you know, really repentant and seek mercy, ask for mercy, because that's all we got right now, y'all. We's hanging on by the seat of our draws. Let's keep going here. In comments made during an appearance at the Aspen Institute in Washington, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency Director Jen Easterly said Beijing was making major investments in the capability to sabotage U.S. infrastructure. This, I think, is the real threat that we need to be prepared for and to focus on and to build resilience against, she told her audience. She cautioned that Americans needed to be prepared for the likelihood that Beijing's hackers would dodge their defenses and cause damage in the physical world. Don't know what that means, but anyway. Anyway, it means you're going to be harmed. 
physically. You're going to be hungry. You're going to be in the dark. You're going to be hot. You're going to be cold. You're going to be unprotected. Given the formidable nature of it from Chinese state actors, given the size of the capability, given how much resources and effort they're putting into it, it's going to be very, very difficult for us to prevent disruptions from happening, she said. The Chinese embassy in Washington did not immediately respond to a request seeking a reaction to the warning. Easterly's comments followed a question about an alleged Chinese hacking group known as Volt Typhoon, which U.S. officials and cyber cybersecurity companies accused of positioning itself to carry out destructive cyber attacks in the event of a conflict. And I talked about this earlier this year when they were talking about these different um, hackers and some of the things that they were planning. They've been planning this for a long time, you know, decades. So it's, it's not like, and when I say they, I don't know who they is in particular, but them folks who like to be playing around with these computers and doing stuff and inconveniencing us, you know, engaging in this different type of warfare. We have to understand that this is a different type of warfare, but it is going to impact us. So don't get it twisted. You know, you may get paid and you can't go get your check out of the bank. You may get paid and you can't go swipe your little card at the grocery store and get groceries. So while you can do it now, if you have money tied up someplace, assets, you can go get some tangible stuff. You best to go get on and get it because when everything goes down, they're going to take what they can take with what we've allowed them to have control over because we have chosen a banking system instead of keeping our money in the houses. We believe that banking systems were safer than having money in our own homes. And so we're going to pay a price for that. Um, this ain't no way to get around it. And, you know, even savings, they've convinced us, save our money, invest our money. They're going to take your stuff at the end of the day because it's all a Ponzi scheme. And they got to rob Peter to pay Paul. And then when they owe you, they can't pay you because they, you know, got your money put someplace else. So while you have it and while you can control it and while you can do something with it, you better be doing something with it because these folks ain't playing no games with us. I'm just going to tell you straight up. They're not going to play no games with us, especially the Negro. Her comments expanded on a warning issued earlier this year by the U.S. intelligence community, which said it's in its annual threat assessment that Beijing certainly would consider undertaking aggressive cyber operations against U.S. homeland critical infrastructure and military targets should decision makers believe a major fight with the United States were imminent. So um, check out this person. His name is Raphael Sater Thompson Reuters. He's a reporter covering cybersecurity, surveillance, and disinformation for Reuters. Work has included investigations into state-sponsored espionage, deep fake driven propaganda, and mercenary hacking. So, you know, you can take it with a grain of salt because, you know, we can say this is Ganda too, for all we know. But just understand they are telegraphing something is coming. And it's not for the average person. It's for, you know, corporations or whoever, you can, because the powers speak to each other through signs, symbols, codes, and different things that we don't necessarily always know about or pick up on. So I just want to pass the message along to you because I want you to be prepared. Y'all know they love to be passing stuff off on the weekend where you can't do nothing. Everything is closed. A banking holiday is coming Monday. So if you can, go get cash. If you can, go buy some extra canned goods. Figure out what you're going to eat, what you like. If something you know happens, the power goes down. Have you some games and different things that you can play uh, you know, to occupy your time, especially if you have children, buy coloring books and um, you know, all kinds of books, things you can do, paint, find act, you know, outside activities. You know, you're gonna have to figure out how to de-stress uh, everybody in your household when these things happen, and even just creature comforts like snacks, um, 
what you gonna do if it's too hot? You got a fan, um, you gonna be able to open your windows, um, you gonna be able to go into your room and cool off. Like, you know, those are the simple types of things that you really need to be thinking about, especially if you live in a city, especially if you live um, in a place where there's high crime, uh, or you live amongst, sadly, a bunch of ignorant people. And I'm not saying ignorant as in like slow special needs, like ignorant people who don't know what's happening. And uh, if you live in uh, places where there are high rates of poverty, um, if you live in an industrialized nation, it's probably going to be far more chaotic than it is if you're in a less industrialized nation and emerging economy because those places are likely already accustomed to to living without and going without in ways that we are not so just get ready y'all hold on to your britches because they're getting ready to do it to us and for those of us who've been preparing you know at least you got some cushion or you know something to fall back on but for those people who have not, they are going to really catch it. And so, you know, with that said, I need to go outside and dig in my garden because Ballhead Acres is not doing real good this year. She coming along, but she has not produced the things that I put out and I'm concerned <laughs> quite a bit. I need to weed. You know, there's always something for you to do when you have a garden. And there are, you know, it's just a lot of um, uh, unpredictable things that happen. So, you know, part of this is, is for me is educational. So I always have something to do uh, in the midst of doing this and trying to work and, you know, prepare and get things ready and talk to people and teach people. So y'all, y'all keep up with what's going on. Um, if you have anything that you'd like to share with the masses, uh, email me at Marley K is tired of racism at gmail.com. Please like this video, share it and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification in the event I upload new things. You can get those notifications. You can get them as soon as I upload them. Also follow me on Rumble and Odyssey. The links are in the description because I could get yeeted from YouTube at any time. Follow me on social media. Links are also in the description because if I get yeeted from all these platforms, maybe I might be able to send you a shout out on the uh, uh, social media and be like SOS. If everything goes down, I'm likely not coming back because a lot of us probably ain't gonna be here. Either we are gonna be disappeared um, or we are gonna have to run and hide, I don't know. But anywho, um, for those of us who are working and trying to awaken people, we are not liked. And, um, you know, it doesn't matter which side of the, spe the spectrum or um, what nation group a lot of people are from, because a lot of people I follow are not are Gentiles. You know, they're talking. There are a lot of um, Christians who are awakened and understand what's going on. They know who we are and they see what's happening. So a lot of people are talking. But the disadvantage is that we're using the devil's platforms. And so we also identify who we are when we do so. And so we're all, you know, just um, playing it by ear. But understand that uh, things are going to get rough for a lot of us. So we we may not be here. So please take this information, you know, process it and plan and prepare because we're doing what we're called to do as watchmen. And you are called to prepare for your household. You are responsible for your individual household. And if you're men, you are responsible probably for a lot of people, a lot of things. People are going to be looking to you. So be prepared for that. You know, even them hard headed ones that don't listen, that you tried to warn and they refuse to take your warning. You got to prepare for those people, too. Now, you could chastise them later. And do it in love. But for now, if you have ears to hear and eyes to see, and um, the Most High has, you know, put you in a position to be a leader or a shepherd over your family or your community, um, or maybe even your um, 
you know, your brothers and sisters in Yasharel or Gentiles for that matter. Um, do what you can to navigate these times. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Close it in. Don't don't be holding on to nothing for a rainy day and oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. This is not the time to be frivolous with money. It's not the time to take you know extravagant extravagant vacations. It's not the time to buy things that you can't use when times get hard. You're going to buy some shoes. You better buy you some boots that you can hike in the woods with. Don't buy no Air Jordans. Buy you some camouflage. Buy you a tent. Practice going camping. You want to do a trip, practice going camping and hiking because we might have to be in the woods in the mountains someplace. Um, think like that. Don't don't be sitting around talking about some, oh, I'm going to uh, on a cruise to Mexico. Uh, why? Once you spend that money, you're going to wish you had it in a couple of months when these grocery prices triple. And when I say triple, I mean triple from what they are now. Um, if the banking system goes down in Europe, guess what? It's going to impact the whole entire world because if you can't do business there, you know, money going to stop moving. And it's going to impact us. If we get hacked, the whole world is going to be impacted. If the um, you know supply chain is hacked, everybody is going to be impacted, whether it's inside of your borders or if it's a global thing. We are at war. Everybody's in a war, but everybody don't know they're in a war. So act like you understand you are at war and prepare your household accordingly. All right, y'all. Love y'all. I'm Marley Kay, and I am out.